do this healthy soup with you guys okay trust me it's gonna be one of these kind of recipe you want to set to yourself you want to make at home not only that it's gonna be delicious it's gonna be very easy and it's gonna also simple all right i got some leftover spinach and a few leftover stuff which i'm gonna be using so tune in and watch this episode with chef record all right yeah we're gonna show you exactly how to make this beautiful and delicious soup recipe again in the kitchen with chef record cooking so um yeah share the video guys because you know sometimes the video did not even go hot i don't know why but share the video um Sometimes they go out, sometimes they're not, sometimes, you know, I mean, a lot of people say, Chef Record, I don't even get your notification on this and that. But, you know, we don't own YouTube, so <laughs> you just have to just share the video, guys. All right. So, but it's going to be beautiful. All right. Yeah. It's going to be a, a beautiful one. And trust me, you guys are going to love this one. It's going to be simple and delicious. All right. So what we're going to do, I'm going to start the show in the next two minutes all right two minutes time guys trust me i'm gonna start the show in two minutes time two minutes time we will be starting the show if you're not a member please join the youtube channel membership and support chef ricardo all right Please join the YouTube channel and support Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. All right. Now we got we got quite a few a few ingredients right here, guys. Look at this. So much ingredients. But let's start the show. All right. We're gonna start the show just like this. All right. So we're gonna start the show off right here like this, all right? So roughly about a two teaspoon of oil. Roughly about a teaspoon of vegetable oil in the frying pan. Let's use up the rest of this oil to get rid of this buckle. size red onion look at this guys this is some red onion all right that's the red onion right there okay but this is gonna be an amazing recipe all right yeah This is gonna be something you wanna set to yourself. I've never seen a recipe like this in my life. All right, yeah. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna put some celery. some celery in the pot right there all right just to make you guys can see so we got celery and red onion in the pot all right yeah celery uh red onion in the pot guys I want you to write down the ingredients. This soup is not the normal soup. I should forgot the normal they cook at home. It's something totally different. Now, we're going to get some garlic. All right. Rough about three cloves of garlic. And that's two cloves of garlic right there. 
gonna squeeze in another one. So that's three cloves of garlic. All right, then we're gonna get some tomato. Inside of it. All right, but we got some bell pepper. We're gonna be using some bell pepper inside of it, all right? So if you're a person who love vegetables, trust me, this will come in really handy for you. So that's some green pepper. Yellow pepper, orange pepper, we're gonna be using, all right? Yeah. That's looking good. All right, now, this is gonna be a different kind of soup recipe and it's gonna be also. All right, let's get salt, take off all of this beautiful. Let's see that, guys, look at that. That is fantastic. All right. All right, now we're gonna get some spring onion inside of it, all right? Yeah, girl, big up yourself. Thank you so much for coming on the show. gonna be like a very healthy soup except the oil the oil we are putting it not gonna be you know what I mean it's better to use a light spray oil look at that so that look nice yeah that's what I'm talking about lovely now what we're going to do is we're gonna get some broccoli. Here's the broccoli. I'll put it straight inside of it. All right. Yeah, man. Put some broccoli inside of it. All right. So if you like broccoli, this come in really handy for you. If it doesn't like broccoli. This kind of soup is not going to be for your one. You have to like broccoli. This is some fresh basil. I'm going to put some fresh basil in it. And the fresh basil is going to just bring in a lovely flavor. Alright, look at this. Some fresh basil. I'm going to give that a mix. Fresh buzz, they got a lot of vegetables inside of it. Look at that. So that look nice and fantastic. Yeah. Now the secret behind it, we're gonna put in some herbs. We got some fine seed. You don't have to use these one we're using. 
these are just option. And we got some cumin seed. We're gonna put some of these in it. Some mixed herb, a little bit of mixed herb. We got some basil. Oregano. Very simple and delicious soup, guys. All right. Yeah. Rum fish. Oh my gosh, what's going on, man? All the way over there, rum fish. Big up yourself. Just boiling my kekka. Look at that. That is beautiful, man. All right, now we got some red kidney bean. We're going to put some red kidney bean in it. Fold in that red kidney bean. Look at that. So that look nice. Yeah. Rum fish, what's going on? Rum fish in the house. All right, look at that, guys. Beer vegetables. All right. See that? That's just, that, that's just amazing. But I just, you know what I mean? I'm just doing a lot of vegetable from the week. So we're gonna be using the vegan stock, which I've been using for from weeks. Here it is, vegan stock. I'm right, gonna use some vegan stock. I'm gonna put this inside of it. That's the vegan stock. All right, so if you're following Chef Ricardo, you know I talk about the vegan stock a lot. We're gonna put some hot water on it, roughly about two cups of hot water. Give that a mix. So if you follow Chef Ricardo, you see I talk about the vegan stock. A lot. Pour that inside of it. That is lovely. Look at that. That is amazing. All right. You know, my daughter says she wants some spinach. 
inside of it because she said daddy can I make dumpling I said yes because she like she like the soup that mommy I make so I'm just gonna drop a few spinach in it for her rum fish good morning all right yeah look at that you know you can do this at home guys all right trust me you know you can do this at home so easy and simple let's get out of here your little bit of fish them and vegetable little bit of vegetables we have in your fridge and use them and make this beautiful soup and not only that this is what straight vegan no meat <laughs> I'm straight vegetarian. One week, guys, we've been doing this over the last couple of weeks. All right, yeah. Look at that. Let's put a little bit more liquid on it. Oh my God, look at that. Peppers, a lot of stuff inside of it. Alright? And that's what I talk about. Alright, that looking amazing. Very simple and delicious. Yeah. That is very, very simple and delicious. And the way I make this soup, trust me, it's different. All right, something different, guys. Look at that. So I just put a scotch bonnet pepper inside of it. All right. Look a bit of pepper. Drop a bay leaf inside of it. This is some black pepper. Put a few black pepper to spice it up. All right. And a few cloves. See some cloves there? Huh? Put some cloves in it. A bit of chili, not much. All right, give that a mix. All right, so that look nice. That's what we're talking about. Soup, something different. It is good to make something different at home. Let's taste this. All right. Guys, you know what? To be honest with you, guess I'll tell you what happened. It doesn't need nothing inside of it. No salt, no sugar, no butter, no oil, no nothing. Alright, so we're just gonna turn on the cooker, cover it, allow it for it to cook for a few more minutes, and then we're good to go. In the meantime, I'm just gonna cut up some veg to decorate it. Gonna cut up some chili as usual. Mm. 
some spring onion. Look at this, coriander. A lot of people doesn't eat coriander, but you don't even know what I'm going on, guys. The coriander is something different, man. The amount of coriander we may eat for a week, <laughs> I soon turn into coriander. Yeah, man, the coriander is nice. I love to cook with it. One time I didn't like it. Put a little bit of coriander in it to go and cook. Yeah, one time I didn't like coriander. Yeah, I didn't like coriander, none at all. Coriander, parsley, and all them stuff. They would never catch me eat them thing, the man. Now, when me recognize the benefit of coriander, wow, and what it can do for your health, wow, it's just something different, isn't it? Rum fish in the house, man. Look at that. Oh my God, guys. So that look nice. Look at that. You know what I mean? Simple little delicious soup. It'd be a vegetables and, you know what I mean? I could put a piece of ginger in it, a piece of turmeric. But keep it simple next time. All right. So you saw Chef Ricardo make a healthy soup, except I put some oil and the dumpling in it, but that's fine. You know what I mean? Something you can treat yourself with a little bit of oil. It's all in moderation. All right? Yeah, so we've been doing that for a week. All right, we've been doing all of these healthy recipe. Last week we did whole week last week. This week again, January month. All right, that, that's what happened in January month, guys. That's what happened in January month, all right? January month, you have to get yourself prepared with a lot of these kind of recipes, all right? Now, yeah. So basically, please share the video, all right? Now, this is a very important part now. This is very, very important, is to share it up. And I wanna show you guys how to share up this beautiful soup. All right? Yeah. Let's put this right here. I'm gonna show you how to serve up this beautiful soup. All right, go look at that. That is ready, guys. All right. Yeah. You might have said the dumpling there, but I cook a little bit more, but I'm not gonna take them there. That's for my daughter, she want them. And this is two, this is like two day soup. You know what I mean? Two day cooking. Yeah. So you don't have to cook lunch tomorrow. That is lovely. Yeah, that is beautiful and nice. All right. Yeah, but trust me, guys, this is fantastic and an amazing. And if you like that soup recipe, yeah, leave your comments in the description box and tell me what do you think. All right. You could make it cook a little bit longer, but I don't want to hold up you guys. More no time, can look at that. It's beautiful, it's simple and delicious, all right? As I can see it for yourself, all right? Got some red kidney bean in it, got some things in it and bits and pieces. So the only thing left to go inside of it now is this, 
All right, look at this. Guys, it's two days. It's two days soup, you know. Look at this. We're going to put some spinach in the soup. All right, guys. Don't play with Chef Ricardo, you know. This is just a, like, don't play with me when I'm in the kitchen. I try my best to give you some of the world best ever recipe, as I told you before. Let's put some more spinach in it. As I told you before, these are the world best ever recipe. You cannot get this into no supermarket, no posh restaurant in the world, except Chef Ricardo alone. But this is what I want. It's just the spinach I need. <laughs> it's the spinach, guys. I love the spinach in the soup. All right. Yeah, I didn't put any thyme and stuff in it because I didn't have any fresh thyme. But otherwise, it's pretty good to go. So now, this is what happened. All right. Spinach is just something you don't want to just spin it two times in the pot and you are good to go. All right. Look at that. Fantastic and an amazing. Let's share up this soup. All right. And that's the best way you can ever serve your soup at home. All right. Beautiful because, you know, sometimes this just chip out and I don't want it to happen right now. All right. Let's look at this. So this is what you want to do with this soup. Come on, guys. Don't be a fool of yourself at home with this kind of cooking. You have to make this kind of soup. This is what I want. All right, look at this. No. All right. Wow, look at that. Oh my God. You got tomato, you got everything in it. You have to be careful with scotch bun pepper in a card. <laughs> It's burning and I'm burning up your whole, the whole house. Ah uh, man, you have to like this. See? Alright, look at that. Beautiful and nice. Let this get that out. We don't need that. I'll just put that in there to show you. Say, if you're at home, you can do that. Alright? Very healthy. Let's put this aside. <laughs> Now, now, my name is Chef Ricardo. I try my best to give you some of that fantastic and amazing recipes at home, okay? Grab yourself some coriander. This is where you want to serve it. Coriander and some spring onion and some pepper. Here's a coriander. All right. So right now, if you are suffer from cold or flu or anything, you need to have them a kind of soup here. Some avocado. All right, every evening when I make my soup, I normally serve it like this. All right, and I'll show you guys how to do this kind of soup at home. Because as I, as I told you, every evening I taught this, and I will say it again over and over. Now, rich people now come online, and I said to you, say, do this at home. All right, tell me, which top chef going to do this? Not top chef in the world. No big chef, no superstar, none of them. Now nah, I'll come and do this, tell you guys. And then they'll come right here. Put some more peppers. All right. Yeah, spring onion. All right, look at that. Beautiful and nice. All right, no big chef in the world going to do this for you guys. No big chef, no superstar, no TV chef, no no um, no celebrity, no much, no. Except, you only the Lord will show you how to make this at home and tell yourself, this, do this at home. <laughs> I'm telling you that, guys. None of them that going to tell you to do this. All right. Look a bit of pepper. All right, on top of it. This is what I've been doing for weeks, two weeks now. It's going to make two weeks I've been doing this kind of cooking. So if you like that soup, leave your comments in the description box. Please tell a friend. And a friend, tell a friend. We've got a lot more recipes, a lot more ideas will be coming from Chef Ricardo and the team. 
please tell a friend and a friend tell a friend. All right? Yeah, girl, thank you so much. Where's rum fish? Jamaica recipe queen. Gone. All right, so what we're going to do now, this is the last finish off. This is some pumpkin seed, sunflower seed, and all different kind of seed. What you want to do? You want to pop a few out on top of it like this. All right? Rum fish, big up yourself, man. <laughs> Rum fish is in the house. All right. Yeah. So, <coughs> as I said, sorry, guys. No big chef in the world not going to come online and tell you to do this. So you need to respect every one of us who take the time and show you this on an amazing, incredible soup recipe where you can make at home. All right. See that? Fantastic and an amazing Trust me, lovely the flavor, the texture, everything. Uh, trust me, all you need you know, is this. Try and get this, guys. Vegan. You see that vegan stock here? Yeah? Anywhere you can get it, get it. Vegan stock. That's all you need in the soup. And you can make this kind of vegetable soup at home. All right? Trust me, that's, that, that's alone you need. You don't need any salt. Some, you, can, you can just use light spray oil. You don't have to put the dough, the dough where I make inside of it. It's just for my daughter. All right? But I'm going to say something to you. This is just like a fantastic and an amazing, incredible recipe which I make right here. And you can do it. Just be a vegetable. Grab frozen vegetable from your freezer and you can also make it. All right? Look at that. Beautiful, fantastic, and an amazing. Lovely and delicious. Lots of spinach in inside of it and... Lots of vegetables, broccoli and all them thing there, avocado, you name it. So if you like this recipe and you want me to make more like this kind of recipe next week, because I think this week I have a lot of big cooking coming this weekend, which I want to share with you. All right, I'm going to have a few big cooking over the weekend. But next week, if you want me to do anything like this next week, please let Chef Ricardo know. All right? Yeah. If you want me to um make anything like this anymore next week. Because we got sweet corn, we got green peas, I got tomato soup for come. Um, we got a lot more soup can do for next week. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned in, stay blessed. We got a lot more recipes for you. And yeah, this is just a tip of the iceberg. Respect for every one of you. Big up my Facebook audience every time. My respect goes for you guys. Thank you so much for the support and it is amazing. All right. Jamaica recipe queen. Thank you so much for your support. You've been really supporting Chef Ricardo a lot. All right. Very long time now. Yeah, girl. Thank you so much. And um, rum fish. Big up yourself. Every time, man. <laughs> Don't make the rum jumping at the fish, you know. Or the fish jumping at or the rum jumping at the fish. Problem. <laughs> Everybody will be drunk. Every fish will be drunk. <laughs> Rum fish, respect our man for the support. But guys, I gotta go now. I gotta um, eat some food and relax for the rest of the evening. Big up yourself, Jamaica recipe queen. You're always a support chef Ricardo. All the way from Jamaica, Canada to all over the world. Big up yourself.